Ripe and ready for market, these Dutch raspberries not only taste good, they're also helping to power 1,200 homes. The greenhouse they're grown in used to be made of plastic sheeting, but that's been replaced with 10,000 solar panels, which feed energy back into the national power grid. Since putting up the panels, the farm has needed 25% less water and the raspberries are protected from heavy rain and hail. With the plastic sheeting, I used to harvest, on average, 5% more. But if we had a one-off hot day, then 10 to 20% of the crop would burn and have to be thrown away. So this system is safer. The same company that set up the solar farm over the raspberries has also installed another floating one on a nearby sand quarry. It covers 17 hectares and powers 10,000 homes. As soon as we started digging here, the hole filled up with water and became a large lake. Floating solar power plants are a solution to use these areas that have been changed by human use, while also developing renewable energy in Europe. In the country's busiest port, Rotterdam, the world's first floating dairy farm is home to 40 cows, producing 700 litres of milk a day. It's hailed as a model for future agriculture, as sea levels rise and the need for agrarian land becomes more acute. And right next to it is a solar farm powering the whole operation. You must realise that the world is under pressure. Therefore, we have less and less land, agricultural land. Our idea is that in this way, we can actually create agricultural land close to the city, which can also adapt to a changing climate. The companies behind these innovative solutions admit some of their projects are more costly than traditional solar farms on land. But as the global population grows and less ground is available for solar panels, they firmly believe all future installations must be dual purpose if they're to truly address the climate crisis. Sarah Morris, TRT World.